So, today we were supposed to go to the Chattanooga market, but storms hit, tents got knocked over, and all sorts of fun jazz, so we're going on a road trip. I don't know to where. Morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, puppy? Are you in one of your classy poses? He likes to nap this way. It's so strange. How are you doing, Riddler? Let's see your face. See, he's doing a lot better today. How are we, Sassy? Doing good? So, today we were supposed to go to the Chattanooga market, but storms hit, tents got knocked over, and all sorts of fun jazz, so... We're going on a road trip. I don't know to where. Um, so I am getting together a road trip survival pack because I can. So far it has my headphones, it has a portable charger, my fidget cube, a book. That's it for right now. And of course, you guys will be coming along, so once the camera's charged, you will be coming with me. So yay! Um... And, oh, I wanted to share you with you guys this. Um, so yesterday, I was outside with the dogs, and I nearly stepped on a snake. It was freaking huge. I will put a picture right here to show you how big this snake was. Luckily, it was a non-venomous snake, so, yay! But, uh, yeah. Right now, I'm trying to get yesterday's vlog up and going before parents get home and we go on our trip to Lord knows where. I'll check back in with you guys later. Wanna go up? There you go, good girl. See, this is one of my favorite places to be. I know, I just had a snack. And now you're like, yum. So, clearly, home from our road trip. I'm not the biggest fan of road trips, I will admit that. Um. I'm at least glad we had a destination. I'm one of those people I can't just get in the car and drive. I can't stand it because all I can think about is how much gas you're wasting. <laughs> but it was a two hour long trip to see where my dad will be staying for a competition. Though we did get to eat at City Cafe, which is delicious. It's basically a diner and you get a lot of food for the money you pay for it. So I had like an omelet and some toast. It was yummy. Um, stayed, looked around the lake house for a little bit and then went back home. So, now we're home! And, let's see, I changed into pajama pants. Woo! And of course, said hi to my doggies. They were so excited. And right, right now, I just fed them. I'm going to be watching my watch later list. Oh, and fun story. I've told you guys this, but MRL, he likes to unintentionally... I like to think that he's bringing me presents, when in reality he's probably bringing stuff upstairs to chew on them. Let's be honest. 
So he's done that with socks and with washcloths. He especially started doing this after I taught him get it, bring it. But luckily, he also knows drop it. Which is good, because I saw him come upstairs, he jumped on the love seat, and he had something in his mouth. It looked kind of roundish. Didn't look like a sock or a towel, so I went over and asked him to drop it. He dropped the item on the couch, I picked it up. It was a duck egg. We have ducks outside. And the boys like to steal their eggs! And I'm just like, you don't do this! So now I could say that the weirdest thing my dog ever brought me was a duck egg. Exciting. Um, and now I'm going to continue to watch YouTube and probably play around with my awesome fidget cube and I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey guys! So let me just point out how weird my dog is. This is where he likes to lay and how he likes to lay. I think I've shown this before. One leg on the ground, one leg on the chest. And there's a Riddler. And there's a Sassers. Such a pretty lady. But I wanted to point out just how strange my dog is. Wait, what is this? No, I think that's a piece from something. I'll have to figure that out later. So... What was I going to talk about? There's a couple of things. Okay, so you saw yesterday where I did yoga. And what I'm trying to do is, it's actually a yoga challenge that Mary Fry on the Fry Life did. It is 30 days of yoga with Adrian. So I'm like, you know what, let's give it a shot. Well, what you guys don't know is I never completed it yesterday because of these two. Boys. You don't want to admit it, but you're the reason. I love you, though. Oh, are you sleepy? So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to redo that um, video today and go all the way through, even with the dogs. Um, which was a bit of a challenge, because, you know, the dogs are like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And you're just like, stop. Or they're like, I'm going to play right beside you. And so, this is why I've been teaching in the command space. And kind of having to push them back. But they have figured out that space means go away. Though, it was also kind of fun because there would be some poses I'm at. Like if I'm sticking my hand out. Or if my face was down. One of the dogs would come and lick my face or my hands. And what was it? At one point I had my hand out. And MRL started alerting to me. I wasn't even doing anything. He tends to, like, if my hand is sticking out. Oh, hi, Riddler. You want to say hi? You want to say hello to your internet friends? I'm just telling them how you and MRL had fun with me and yoga. Oh, stretch. And we're on to the playing and barking. Which I do want to point out, I did have somebody tell me that they wouldn't watch my videos because of the dogs barking. <laughs> so, I mean, it wasn't m meant in a mean way, I'm pretty sure, but you know, they're dogs. They're gonna bark. And I really do try to vlog when they are not barking, but they've had a tendency to bark when I turn the camera on. So, I got lovely dogs. But, let's watch them play for a second. like some really cool or fun music along with this. Maybe do some slow-mos. 
make this video just epic of two dogs playing with rope. Oh, you're so vicious, Riddler. tail you have there buddy it's a lovely butt though what's more lovely than your butt's your face but I see MRL's face we take a moment from this program to show you adorable sassy oh, sassy do you want to say hi to the people say hi guys I'm doing pretty good just laying on my Christmas blanket so, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Even with not having a whole lot of teeth in my mouth because most of them have rotted away because I'm old. Let me see if she'd let me show you. Can I, can I see your teeth? Uh, will you let me? I don't see them very well, but she has no front teeth because she's an old lady. But we love our old lady. Don't we, baby? Yeah. And now back to the program of the wimes. Killing a rope. So vicious. <laughs> I need to have this clip later for when people are like, Oh my gosh, service dogs don't get any time to be a dog. What do you call this then, people? What is this? So let it be known that for the past about 10 minutes, I was teaching Emerald how to share. So you see, I have all these toys that he and Riddler have to share. And every time I would try to throw a toy for Riddler, Emerald would go after it. Even when he had his own toy. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like we're in preschool all over again. But then again, probably about going with their ages, this one would be a preschooler. Be about three or four as a human. Riddler would probably be around seven. So, it is teaching a four-year-old to share his toys. Which right now, I finally got them both occupied. Riddler has the Darth Vader ball. And then I was distracting him for the longest time. And then I discovered there was leftover peanut butter in there, which is kind of gross, I know. But he's happy about it now. Now that I've kind of like dug it out, and gotten to where he is playing with it so he's learning that he has to share his toys with his big brother yeah you have to learn to share uh, the wonders of being a dog parent even though I'm also of course his, ha his handler and his trainer I am also his mother so <laughs> I have to teach my son to share his toys with his big brother, don't I? What do you think, Sassy? She says I'm sleeping. Hey guys! Dear be the Sassafrasum. She was so happy to see me until I turned the camera on. Dear be the Riddler. Are you happy to see me? You sniff? <laughs> Hi. And dear be the Emerald, still working on the Kong. And all of its rubbery, peanut buttery goodness. So, my evening has literally been watching YouTube. My life. And of course teaching the dogs to share. And then hanging out with my parents. My dad's going to be leaving tomorrow to go to a fishing tournament. That is two hours away from home. So he'll be going all week. But hopefully he does well. Um... I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know, though it should be obvious by now, tomorrow's May 1st, which means it is Lyme Disease Awareness Month, Mental Health Awareness Month, and Cystic Fibrosis Awareness Month. So if you want to be, if you want to help out with all three for cystic fibrosis, you can find a cystic fibrosis walk 
Or you could do a virtual walk. Hashtag Team Frylock. Or Team Fry, I think. Of course, Cr Lyme Disease Awareness Month. You could go over to Slice of Lime. They have all sorts of fun things that they're going to be doing. There's the Key Lime Pie Challenge, which I will be participating in once I get some Cool Whip and a Pie Tin. Um, and then they have some cool videos that will be coming out, which is exciting. And then, of course, for Mental Health Awareness Month, I will be doing a video, The Faces of Mental Illness. But in order to do that, I need your help. So far, I have four submissions, including my own. So, all you'd have to do if you'd like to participate in the Faces of Mental Illness video is submit a video to me via email. Or you could also message it to me on Facebook Messenger if you know my personal Facebook. So, um, the email is pressingthepanicbutton at gmail.com. The video can be at the max a minute and 30 seconds. Any other time below that is perfectly fine. Um, in the video, I just need you to say your name, your age, what mental illnesses you have or illness, what is the best thing, no, what is the worst thing about having mental illness, and what is the best thing about having a mental illness. So for example, I'd say, my name is Raven. I'm 22 years old. I have generalized anxiety disorder, major depressive disorder, and panic disorder. And the worst thing about mental illness is feeling like you are trapped. Like feeling like you can scream for help, but no one can hear you. And the best thing about mental illness is I've been able to use it as a positive inspiration for other people by vlogging. Um, the deadline last submissions will be taken on May 19th, which is also my birthday, so woo! Um, so that's about three weeks for submissions. And then sometime within that next week, because May 19th is on a Friday, so either that weekend or the next week is when that video will come out. So, if you are interested, please put in your submissions. You do not have to do any other editing. Right, Riddler? No other editing? Yeah. You just have to say those things, answer the questions, and submit the video. That's it. I'll take care of the rest. So, with that in mind, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. What's the question of the day, Riddler? Riddler says, If there is one thing in the entire world that you wish you did not ever have to share that you could just keep for yourself forever and ever, what would it be? For me, it would probably be Coke. Let's face it. Not, not that Coke. No, 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 no. Not that kind. The drinky one, not the snorty one. No, that's bad. Ah. <laughs> but Coca-Cola, I enjoy it a lot. But China, people will be like, oh my gosh, you shouldn't drink caffeine when you have a panic disorder. Well, too bad. So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, my sassy girl. Good night, internet friends. And good night, my whiny boys.